If you're ever wanting free beer, start a podcast and uh, talk to a brewery. They, they, they give you free beer, apparently. Got to make it look pretty. So this morning, I drove down to Quinell, British Columbia, which is just an hour south of where I live, um, and I interviewed uh, the GM for Barkerville Brewing Co., where they brew a lot of awesome beer and just do some awesome history stuff that kind of ties in with their beer. Barkerville is an old historic town from the 1800s where it was Gold Rush City, like gold miners would come from miles uh, all over the world, basically, to come and try and stake their claim and strike it rich. So all these beers are basically based off the 1800s Barkerville. This one I'm particularly interested to try, Aunt Florence. <laughs> uh, Aunt Flo, it's the time of the month. That's what they're, they're kind of going with it. But Florence was an actual pioneer woman from Barkerville. She was just basically super badass. This photo was actually taken directly from her family. They were in connection to get permission to make this, uh, name this after her. It was a good day. So basically the day went a little bit like this. Okay, babe, I'm out of here. Love you. Love you. This morning I'm on my way to go record an episode for my podcast, insert creative title, uh, at Barkerville Brewing in Quinell, British Columbia. Uh, this place is awesome and I'm super pumped to actually get to go inside. It's a bit of a drive though, it's like an hour and 10 minutes or something to make it down to the brewery. Uh, actually, well, hour and a half probably if you include where in town I live. So about an hour and 10 minutes from town to town, but including that I'm on the opposite end of my, my city, adds a little time, but we're gonna hit that road. Thank God I got the coffee. Ah, let's make this drive. I don't think, yeah, I don't need to stop for gas, good. I was thinking I might have to make a quick gas station stop, but I don't. <laughs> of course I couldn't show you the drive, but uh, we just made it. Now I gotta make a text message, let her know I'm here so I can get inside. We're all good, let's go in. Do you want to meet Ben? This is Megan, my sales Hi, manager. Ben. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Right away, the first thing that I saw when I walked into the back was the whole process of canning the actual beer. This was really cool to see because I've never seen this before. It was a really small production as far as I thought would happen. I thought it like a giant assembly line, but these three girls were whipping out cans like you wouldn't believe. Uh, there's no way I'd be able to be that efficient. Watching them was pretty cool. You can tell they definitely knew what they were doing. I got to see everything from the hops, where it starts and where they actually bring them in from. They try and stay nice and local into Canadian hops if possible. And then they grind them up right there and they move over into the stills or vats, I can't remember what they called them. Uh, and the whole process from them brewing to initiating the CO2 into the actual alcohol. And another really cool thing was their head brewmaster was there and I got a little bit of the DL on the whole situation on how she brews it start to finish. Well, I'm sure not start to finish as there's a big in-depth procedure, but she gave me a real quick DL on the whole situation. It was really cool to see. I'm just super happy that I got to be in a location like this and have the opportunity to talk with Justine, be with her staff for the afternoon. I got to see them all hands-on, do their thing. It was really awesome. So thank you very much for sitting down with me for this podcast, having me in the back. If you guys want to check it out, I'll make sure I put a link to the podcast down below and go check out Barkerville Brewing if you ever have a chance. Their beer is delicious. And also don't forget to hit up Barkerville because that place is pretty damn cool too. What, what is this? Oh, I'm going to get this on. Right. I'm just going to give you the our bottles, so oh, I know you like the stout. That much. I know you like the stout. But then this is the winter ale I talked about that had the molasses and the ginger and the okay, orange peel yeah. and stuff. Then this is the PMS beer. But you know what, it's just like, it's an anti-inflammatory. It's got all good things for anybody, Perfect. for anybody. Um, and cottonwood coconut porter, it's just nice. I don't know if you like cot uh, coconut. Oh yeah, I do. I fucking love it. Yes. It's just like, cause. Oh, uh, coconut's kind of oily, right? So it kind of has this nice creamy mouthfeel to it that's kind of nice. But they look identical, hey? They actually do. <laughs> that's because I cheaped out and made this one from this one. <laughs> really quick, could yeah. you explain this one? With herbs, so it's got rose hips, chamomile. Um, Testing you. Juniper branches and. What's the name? Yarrow. Yarrow, right. And the yarrow actually gives it a nice, like, citrus flavor, I find. It's an interesting flavor. It's not bitter at all. 
So thank you, Justine, for hooking me up with all these beer. I'm gonna try this right now. Thank you for sitting down talking with me and all the information. I appreciated it. Mm. We'll have to do it again sometime. Hoo -hoo. Well, cheers. Very floral tasting to it, I think. I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to beer. I like it. There's a flavor in there, it reminds me of something and I can't put my finger on it. It's good. I approve, 100%. If you ever guys get the chance to try any of Barkerville's beer, I highly recommend it. If you ever have the chance to go to Barkerville, I highly recommend that too. I've been there several times. I should probably go once again this year, maybe, if I have the opportunity. Maybe I'll bring you guys along. But for now, I'm gonna go enjoy my beer. I'll see you later.